Hello, this is the Captain Paxo bringing you some For Honor gameplay, which is incredibly old. Like, holy shit, this gameplay is old. It's like maybe a month after release, and it's now season two, and I still haven't commentated this. I'm looking at my hard drive, and I'm thinking, Jesus Christ, I still need to do that. Anyway, this is actually my first ever set of matches in the full release. Uh, I did play the beta. Not too much, like I played a little bit of Warden, and I tested out some of the other characters. Um, but for all intents and purposes, this is like my first three sets of matches uh, in the full release of For Honor. So we get to see how bad I actually am at this game. Look at me whiffing. Um, oh, I actually managed to do a, a shoulder bash cancel into guard break. I know what that is. And I use all of my stamina. So yeah, I know what I'm doing, sort of, you know, I, I've, I've paid attention to YouTube videos, but um, the execution, not that great. That made, that made me look actually like half decent, but it's, it's going to go downhill, trust me. <laughs> oh, got to look forward to it, right? But yeah, this has been sitting on my hard drive for a very, very long time because I'm not really too sure how to exactly commentate For Honor videos. Like, I can't do shout casting because there's just too much happening in too short a span of time, you know? Am I going to kick him off the cliff? What's happening? I don't normally... I didn't mean to... Oh, he's going to throw me off the cliff. Yeah, he's just going to throw me off the cliff. I think he thought that I was going to throw him off the cliff. I'm not normally the sort of person to throw someone off the cliff because uh, I kind of like to fight people, like I want to see what they can do, and just throwing someone off a cliff and being thrown off a cliff is just sort of like, eh, right, okay. Just just an easy win then, it's not really like juking it out, it's not really like having a proper fight, you know, testing your skill. Which this game is really, really interesting when it comes to like trying to test your skill. Um, like, the lock-on system would make you think that the game is actually designed around 1v1s and that, like, gank situations are not really the strongest point. But then you look at, like, how the characters work and the way they interact with one another and you start to think, like, well, maybe fighting in, like, a team fight sort of situation is, like, where the game is meant to be at. So I'm just getting, like sort of a mixed reception to two different design philosophies are coming together to create this game and I'm I'm not really too sure about it. Oh, I know the vortex. I know the vortex and he doesn't know how to fight it. Oh, can we get a plunge attack off that? Uh no, it does not look like it. Too short of a dump a jump. Uh you can't guard break when they're attacking. But you can when they're not attacking. Interesting. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm very inexperienced with this game, and honestly, like, all of the fights that I recorded were, like, a month after the game came out, when I actually got my hands on it, um, and I played about 12 matches, like, 12 1v1s, uh, and I haven't, I haven't touched it since, you know, Season 2 has just started, and I, I, I still haven't gone back to it, like, this game just didn't grip me like Titanfall gripped me, it didn't grip me like Warframe does. Oh, look at him doing the flip de doo I call it the flip de doo because I don't know the actual name of the, these moves. And he chucks me off the ledge. Fair enough. I guess he knew that I was going to, like, dash to the side. Or maybe he didn't know. Maybe he just wanted to throw me off the cliff. I don't know. Maybe that's what the, uh, the flip de doo was. Maybe he was accidentally doing that when he was trying to throw me off the cliff. Who knows? But it's always interesting to think about what the other player is trying to do. So let's see, what's he going to do? Immediate guard break, and I'm... Why do I push him? <laughs> That's... That's so dumb. Why would I push him? Why would I not capitalize on that? And he's just going to keep trying to uh, guard break me, so I'm going to beat him out with light attacks. Look at him. He's going to try and guard break, and I'm just going to hit him with a light attack. Every time he makes a move, I'm just going to hit him with a light attack. Except for that time where I fucked it up and I got thrown off. I almost won that, and I fucked it up at the last second. Oh, that's frustrating, isn't it? Oh, well. He seems pretty happy with himself. 
and the next round is actually the exact same person on the Nobushi this time. This person seemed like he was testing out a lot of different characters, and I'm just scrubbing it up with the Warden, because I know the Warden. Doing a taunt, out of range with the uh, shoulder bash. Oh, and I go into the guard break. Interesting. Mixing things up, at least I know how to do that. Oh, he's not going to throw me off the cliff, is he? No. But yeah. Uh, oh, and I'm going to throw him off the cliff. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Wow, I really was not happy with that last fight, was I? Look at that taunt span. Jesus, how angry was I? <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal to get thrown off the cliff. But then, you know... There, there are some days. I, we all have those days, like, let's be honest. There's always that day. What am I doing with the camera? There's, we have those days where we just get incredibly pissed off at just everything. Um, like, doesn't matter what we're doing. Like, recently I've been trying to play um, Titanfall as so I get killed by Bleed. Absolutely eviscerated by this guy. Good God. He did everything right and I did everything wrong. But I've been playing Titanfall, or trying to at least, and I've just been getting incredibly pissed off at it, so I've kind of stopped playing it, hence the lack of Titanfall content on my channel right now. You know, I've just been not really enjoying Titanfall as much as I um, used to, so, you know, just going to take another break from it. It's fine. Titanfall will still be there when I get back. It's got a really strong player base. It's not the biggest player base, but it's a strong player base. <clears throat> He's out of stamina now. I can punish this. Am I going to punish it? Yes, I am. And what am I going to do? Just one heavy. Alright. Not bad. Actually making things look like I know what I'm doing half of the time. Except for that last fight where I got absolutely demolished. Yeah. But yeah, for honor, second season has just started. And... The gear's been changed up, apparently. There's been a lot of buffs and nerfs to characters. Um, and, yeah, it'd be really interesting to just... Oh, my God, I was not happy with this fight, was I? <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it'd be interesting to get back into For Honor and actually see how much things have changed, see how badly the Warden got nerfed, see if the Valkyrie's been buffed or anything like that. Anyway, this is the third and final fight, uh, and this guy's trying to play the Shugoki, which is a terrifying monstrosity when they start uh, mixing things up, but then everything's kind of scary when they start mixing things up. Was that a side heavy or a side light? I'm not too sure. Just gonna walk away from that. Guard break? Yeah. Throw him onto the floor, get one heavy. Don't bother with anything else. What am I gonna try and do? Hit him on the side. Ooh, tried to go for the, the zone attack, but... Oh, and I can't parry for shit. <laughs> that's going to be something else that's really entertaining about these um, games where I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I cannot parry for shit. Like, well, some moves I seem to be able to parry very, very consistently. Other moves, which is pretty much the Shugoki, I cannot parry for shit. Have I even done a crushing counter? Like the top light attack to counter a move um, with the warden yet? I don't think I have. Oh, is, is he just going to try and... I don't know what he's trying to do. All right, he's going full assault now. Oh, he's out of stamina, so I'm just going to throw him off a cliff. That was a little bit messy, to say the least. Like, that was quite messy. I think he was panicking because he was on the bridge. He didn't want to get thrown off. Um, Round three. That could be it. Um, I don't know. And you can see I'm doing the sorry in chat because I don't like throwing people off cliffs. Oh, I thought he wasn't going to go for the second one. Damn. I, f I feel like I don't know. It's hard to say with For Honor. Like, I kind of wanted to get this game on PC because, you know, it actually has, like, 60 frames per second. You can... There are some moves that you can actually defend. <laughs> there are some strings you can actually pull off 
because on console there are some strings that just, they just don't work and there are some moves that you just you cannot react because the frame rate just isn't good enough but I got it on PS4 you know I have, I have a friend or two that um, like to play For Honor every now and again and occasionally on the rare chance I might actually go yeah you know what let's let's play some For Honor but like I said it's been it's been a really long time since I've actually sat down and played this uh, properly but yeah finally commentating these very old uh, footage uh, there's more to come there's like another nine fights I think I have uh, to commentate so thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time